Hey everyone, Frugal Panda here with just a quick video of a very basic bed platform. I'll leave a link in the description for this one. I use this with my van on top of like a bed platform I built. So it's not really a platform. It's basically a, you put it on the floor and it works great. It's a trifold and it has a little strap on it. So you can either just store it behind your seats or you can uh, just leave it out when, if you're going on a long road trip and you just want to have it accessible all the time. It also has a carrying handle on it. Now, I just did this at the last minute. I thought about it. It was downstairs. I was like, oh, let me, let me go ahead and put this together for people who are interested in it. Because maybe you don't want to build some. Maybe you don't got time. Maybe you just don't you know, want to be cutting wood and all that stuff. Now, so this is pretty basic as long as your back is flat, but you can also put a, make a little, uh, take a little simple piece of wood and put it underneath it and just put a couple little wood blocks on it to make it level if you needed to. You wouldn't have to do anything fancy either for that. Now, my back seats do come out my, um, my seats, my lower seats, if I wanted to take them out to make it totally flat. So that is a possibility if I really wanted to do it. But to be honest with you, a lot of times when I would use this, I've had no issue with it, no problems. Um, I kind of like sitting up a little bit to sleep and stuff, and it works. I drop the back seat. I can still fit my refrigerator in if I wanted to bring it outside. I always put down like a bathroom mat like this. You can get one of these at Walmart. It makes the floor so much better for your knees, everyone. Trust me on this. Like when you're crawling in, in any SUV or CUV, it's so much better for your um, your knees. And just to you know, take your shoes off and you know have your feet on there, it's, so, it's pretty soft. Plus it absorbs like liquids and stuff in case you were to you know, spill something or anything like that. I recommend getting some little pa plastic, um, what do they call them, for the rear, little mats for the rear of your SUV, like the longer ones, or what they call carpet uh, protector strips, something like that, that you get for your house. Put them underneath it. As you saw earlier, mine's folded partly underneath the seat so I can pull it out when I need to use it. I also use old uh, car mats that I'll put in the areas where my bike's going to go on the side of the actual uh, mattress itself. So it doesn't get, you know, get my floor all dirty and get my little mat dirty. I might fold my mat up a little bit so I don't have to worry about that. As you see, I'm just using a basic, basic, um, you know, um, bed sheet right here. If you wanted to, be honest with you, you can use a couple bobby pins underneath and just, you know, bobby pin it in a couple places and be good to go. I just tuck it under to be honest with you. But if I really was going on a long journey and I knew I probably wasn't going to be uh, folding it up too much, that's what I would do uh, myself is put a couple of bobby pins. Uh, but it, it, it really does work. Now, since I'm six foot tall, I could overhang a little bit past the front of the seats when they're folded down. Simple thing is a piece of wood. I had a piece of scrap wood. I put it underneath where I sleep a little bit and extended out some. Therefore, I have no problems with that. It's not going to move because my basically my body weight is going to keep it in place too. Now, uh, I would recommend if using a piece of wood, if it's like what I use, it looks like more like a particle board style where you can leave little pieces and everything. Uh, put something over it, you know, whatever you got. I don't care what it is. An old, an old towel if you want to and use a staple gun or some nails or some tacks and just wrap it in an old towel if that's all you really got. You don't have to do anything fancy, everyone. That's why I wanted to do this for people so they could actually see what you can basically do because the key is it's not making something super fancy. The key is just to get out and explore and do the things you want to and sleep in comfort. comfort. And this is actually really comfortable. And if you want it a little more softer or comf more comfortable than that, I also have an inflatable mattress pad, a small one that folds up, real, uh, put, goes in a little bag that's really tiny. I'll leave a link to that too if you really want to use that too. Now, you don't see me putting my sleeping bag in here. That's just basically I have the sheet and I have the actual carpet itself, but it's really not hard to just, you know, you just throw your, your sleeping bag on there and there you go. If you wanted to make it even softer, if you didn't want an infl inflatable sleeping pad, put a comforter right there and there you go. You're in heaven. Anyway, I thought this would be interesting to some people so you don't have to worry about, oh my God, I want to do all this, but I don't want to spend all this money, you know, all that stuff. I think this really works. I can get in and out, no problem. If I put my bike in here, my bike would fit fine in. All I would recommend with it is use a piece of cardboard, like a big piece, 
on the side of it after you tied down your, your bike in there, but it's on the side of it so you don't get your, your bed actually dirty if you're gonna leave it out like this. It protects it from getting like, you know, oil from your chain or anything on your actual, um, your bed area. So, and I've used that forever, like just a piece of big old cardboard right there to, and I, you know, it's pretty easy to strap it right to your, your bike. But as you see, I, when I lay down in it, I'm not fully extended. And the simple reason is, well, my, my bike's not, uh, my bike, my be, um, seat's not all the way up. So that's a simple thing. And I don't even have to put it all the way up. As you see, I'm using a simple piece of wood, put it underneath, and I don't put it underneath the bed itself. I put it underneath the little plastic mat first. So it's underneath there, not rubbing against the actual, um, my covers and my linen and stuff, getting particles on it. Now with this piece of wood, what I'll end up doing with it is I will put something over it. So I don't even have to worry about any pieces of wood or anything getting on it like that. So as you can see, it's underneath the actual, um, carpeted mat and that's like a uh, what they call like a carpet liner that goes in your house um, to protect your actual carpets like the longer ones so and there you go you drop it you can pull it up a little bit or put it back so um, just to, whatever you want to do with it so it depends how tall you are if you're not six foot and you're under that then you have no problem but you can use what i'm using right here with anything you can use it with a cuv you can use it with an suv e e suv even easier some cuvs are fairly large too so easy with that too and also there's zippers on the side of this trifold mat uh, mattress pad so you can actually cut it so i've cut this before for the minivan curved it a little bit but you can cut it to fit your needs on the sides and stuff and fit it really well to whatever you need would i recommend cutting it yay and nay it depends how long you're going to keep the car but these are easy easily replaceable so as you can see me getting in i get in pretty easy from the side me got a hat on uh, take your time you know, of course I wouldn't go in the back and lay with my hat on. It adds like an inch or two to me, probably with the little thing on the side of it. Super comfortable. And like I said, I could use my little inflatable mattress pad with it if I really want to. So no issues. And you can pull this out if you're going to do tent camp one day and throw it on the ground and use it, use it like that too. Like I said, all the foam comes out of it. So you can pull it all out and wash it if you need to, um, the exterior. But I recommend putting something on it so your actual body oils do not get in uh get on the um on the actual bed itself so anyway thanks everyone for watching and here i'm going to discuss what i think of this and everything like that and if it's going to work for me or if it'll work for you you see me getting in the side i mean in the front from the front to the back not really a problem also my passenger seat isn't adjusted usually i have my passenger seat up a little bit more too um, which would make it actually easier. And there you go. You still got plenty of storage if you don't want to put it away. And it also in the Kia Sorento, they have undercarriage storage. So a lot of my stuff can go right underneath I this there. For people that are interested. Thanks everyone. For people that are interested in cheap camping, I'll leave a link in the description for this one. It works, everyone. I use this and I can't remember. I think the van. It's a trifold, so if you want to put everything away, you can. Or you can leave it all, all, all of it out like this. Not a big deal. So, yeah. But anyway, it's pretty comfortable. It's definitely comfortable enough for a night or, uh, or a couple nights. You're in a city. You just got into a city. And it, you know, you got in late, so you don't want to really get a motel. It's kind of a waste of 100 bucks. You pull up to a apartment complex or something not i don't drive inside the park apartment complex parking but like a lot of people do they park out on the street and visitors park on the street i pull up park hop in the back put up my window i already have part usually part of my window covers up already and then you go to sleep get up in the morning i can sit up mostly and i'm six foot tall um I can definitely sit up here more compared to my Chevy Volt, which is, of course, a smaller car where I'd be like, I don't even know if I could actually in there. I can't remember. But in here, yeah, no problem. I can sit up enough, definitely enough, put my pants on and I wouldn't be wearing my hat, of course, um, you know, stuff like that. I can even sit back here if I really wanted to. I get I could get up like this. Look, I got the sunroof. It gives you another 
inch or two, probably about two inches. I could really fold this all up, put it back here, hop in the front seat and put it away. For like me, mostly when I'm on camping trips and like road trips, I just leave this out. So it's easy and accessible in case I wanna take a nap anywhere, you know? It works. Let me get out of this van. I mean, it's a SUV, it's kind of hot in here. But anyway, I'd simply get out right here. I could, I could hop back in the front if I wanted to. Open the door and get out. You know, watch your SUVs and CUVs right here. I always hit my head on these. I hate, I don't know if it's low slung or something, but something about this vehicle, I always whack my head on if I'm not careful.